Good morning, modern steaders. Good morning. We got about an inch of snow overnight, and yesterday we finished up with our sheetrock mud upstairs. <laughs> right? Yeah. That's cause for a celebration. Today, we get to start doing the priming on it and get it all primed. That's going to change the looks. And you're really good at that, so. Ah, you're better than I am. <laughs> good morning, chickens. First, we need to take care of all of our animals, get them fed and milked, and then we can take a ride up there. Come on, come on. Good morning. priming today. It's going to be nice to see what it looks like all one color. So the question is if we can do this without making a huge mess. It's always one thing with painting. It always seems like you get just as much on yourself. That's been my case anyway. We are going with the Kills Drywall Interior Primer. It's supposed to be a drywall primer and sealer. Never used it before. This kind of kills product. You should just try one first. Yeah. I've never used anything that comes out like that. No, me neither. The stuff seems a little thick, so I just want to test it out first. Make sure it lays out nicely. Seems to go on fine. Why? It's almost like it's got something in it that makes it smooth and silky. Well, it's got a sealer. That'll be fine. I'm assuming we're going to need two coats. But we'll find out. Actually, I'm going to give this one to you. Because that's pretty comfortable in the hand. I'm going to use it in a stick, so I'll use the uncomfortable wooden one on this. I'll be nice. I think we came up with a game plan. I'm gonna do all the high stuff with the roller and the extended stick. And then Gina's gonna go around low and get all the lower stuff.
feel it spatting all over me. You can. Oh yeah, and just get, yeah, look at my hands. You just feel like a little mist of it. So I'll have to keep an eye on the window. It's not getting any paint out, I'll have to cover it, but we don't want to cover it if we don't have to, because if we cover it, we won't see out of it. And that'll just kill the light in here. I don't think we're going to see as big of changes as we were hoping. Check the window. Is it getting stuff? I don't know what that was. If that was, I think that might be drywall, mud. Does that answer? I think that's drywall dust. But I think we're fine. I'm trying to keep looking. If we find it's an issue, we'll have to.
fresh coat never looks good. You know what else is not a fresh coat? It's you know that you got another coat. And it goes on hard. The other coat's going a lot easier. But the first coat you can see, the second coat, it's hard to see sometimes. Right. The transformation is a little bit less than I thought it would be, but then it's drying is so much different. So I think once it dries, we're going to be a lot more happy. Never a lot more happy. We'll be more. Peter is finishing up our bedroom, so that means after that, the only thing we have left is this hallway. So I'm going to come in here and stop working on this. If you wear glasses, I just clean my glasses with glass cleaner, and that stuff came off my glasses really easy. I was surprised.
first coat on all the rooms except for the corners cut in. I'm going to do a second coat on Olivia's room and see if we like the second coat with this primer slash sealer or if we want to go out and pick up a different primer to put a second coat on everything. Yeah, so this is dry. This okay. is dry. Yeah, the stuff's going to dry in an hour plus, so it's been a few hours. This has been drying, so we'll do this room and we'll make our decision from there what we want to do a second coat with. Yeah, let's do it. I thought it was all my hair dryer and finished. Yeah, the first coat. Ah. Different process. Alright, that is the second coat in this room all done. So the only thing we need to do in here now is go around and do the corners and then touch up any muddy work that has any imperfections. There's a few in this room, but it's not too bad. This one came out pretty good. It's nice seeing it all one color. I think as it dries, it's going to get less translucent and it's going to look really good. So we're going to need to get another bucket, we're going to need to get another bucket of primer slash sealer to finish up the rest, but we're close. I like it. You got a little paint on your face. I do? Yep. I'm sure I do too. I'm sure we're kind of like speckled in it. I know my glasses do and I've already cleaned them once. I thought these were going to be more speckled than they were, but... Well, I'll let you do up high tomorrow and see what they look like. No, I don't want to go. <laughs> Good that you don't gotta wash them out every time in between use if you're gonna use the same color. So just put them in like a Lowe's bag or some kind of plastic bag and just roll them up and that'll keep them nice and moist. And then the next time you go to use them, you just take the bag off and you're good to go. If it's gonna be a little while, you can actually stick them in the freezer and they'll last a lot longer. It is the next morning, and I'll tell you what, it feels good to have the first coat of primer on. I don't know about you. And actually, a second coat on one of the rooms. Right. <sighs> Today we just need to finish getting the second coat on two of the rooms, and then we gotta get all of our corners. We gotta cut everything in. We didn't do that yesterday, so. We need to get all of our animals fed and taken care of, and then we can get up to the off-grid property and get that part finished. Get that checked off our list. Right. You like doing that. Checking stuff off our list? Yep. Absolutely. <laughs> it feels satisfying when you make yourself a list, and then you can check it off or cross it off. That's for sure. All right, we left the blower fan going overnight just to make sure everything dried good. It's kind of noisy. Let me shut that off. Ah, oh, much better. See how this room looks with two coats completely dry. That actually covers it really well. It did. Wow. It's so crazy because it just didn't look good at all when you first put it on. No. When it's wet, it's very translucent. And it looks nice. This is laid down 
nice. It's got good coverage. You can't see through it like you could before. You can just see where you need to cut it. Right, you can see the corners. Oh, that looks good. Gotta get our painting clothes back on. Picking up a new roller last night and another bucket of primer just in case we run out. We might have enough, but it's going to be close. Couldn't get in nice with my mudding tools, so I'm gonna put a piece of trim work up there to hide that edge. That'll look a lot nicer. There's a few areas I need to touch up with some more spackle, like right here, there's just a little nick. There's a couple of screw holes that I didn't get like a nice finish on. So we'll have to go around before we do our painting and touch up a few spots, but I'm really surprised with how well it came out. So that makes me happy. today but we'll use it again downstairs but if I didn't get any we would have ran out like right at the end. Let's see if we can save these roller covers for next time. Let me put the other one in the same bag.
So we got our window in for the powerhouse room. And Gina thinks it looks a little big. So we're going to measure it today and make sure they sent us the right size. I was going to say, it's not working as good. Sheetrock mud all over it. So we have 31 and a half by 35 and a half. Yep, 32 by 36. So we got it's perfect. Oh, good. Does it feel good to have the primer all done? Ah, that means. The mudding is done until we go downstairs, but hey, I'm glad we got the upstairs checked off the list. That feels so good to have that done. Now we go downstairs, work on smaller things, and we have a window to install. I'm looking forward to that. Hopefully we can do that shortly. Just all depends on the weather. Thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey. You guys are a huge blessing to us in our homestead. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, share it, subscribe to the channel. It really helps, and we'll see you right back here in the next video. Bye.